body of Christ broken for you. Scripture describes Jesus instituting this communion meal, and uh, we know that he, uh, he gathered with his friends in a room to have supper together, to celebrate Passover. And in that time, they would have they spoken about God's goodness. They would have spoken about God's judgment. They would have spoken about, about how wonderful it is to praise and worship God. And Jesus had already gone off script a couple times. These things were very regimented in what was said and how it was said. And Jesus had already altered it a little bit. He had, he had taken off his robe and he had washed his disciples' feet. He had shown what it is to serve as a leader. He had broken the bread. And then somewhere in the midst of this, of this drinking of cups in a ceremonial way to remember the praises of God, he breaks the liturgy and he says, this is my blood poured out for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. You see, the death of Jesus was not a surprise to God. It was part of his plan. And he let his disciples know both what was coming, even though it confused them to all end, until after the fact at least. But he shared what was to come. And so as you receive the cup, remember that this was Jesus' gift of sacrifice to us, that he shed his blood that we might have life. Receive the cup.